Hi there, I'm Sean Doman. In this review, I'll be reviewing the Samsung T35F monitor. If you like this video and find it to be helpful, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my video in which I unbox this monitor and show you everything that's included. Okay, so to get started, my general review of this monitor is that it's a great monitor at a great price. It's got a high quality picture, it works very well, it's easy to set up, uh, everything's included in the box, the power cable, the power adapter, the HDMI cable. The monitor stand attaches to the monitor very easily and the whole thing takes up very little space. There are some features that I would have liked to see that would have been more helpful, but for the price that this monitor has come in at, I didn't necessarily expect it to have those features. For example, one of the things about the monitor that is not so great is it only has this stand which goes this far. So if you need it to be in a specific position or standing a specific way, this probably isn't the monitor for you. If you just need it to be on top of a desk, uh, let's say you're using it with a laptop and you generally want it to be about the same height as your laptop monitor, you're gonna have no problem with this monitor. But if you're going to be using this with a PC or a computer, if you're gonna be using it as a second monitor, and if you're going to want it to be at a similar height or a similar angle as your other monitor, it's not gonna be so easy for you to get that effect happening with just the stand that's included. It fortunately does have the standard screw holes in the back, so if you wanted to attach it to a monitor arm, you can do this no problem. And if you haven't seen my video on the Ergotron HX desk monitor arm, please take a look at that. I think that it's a fantastic unit and that it would work very well with this monitor. Generally speaking, I found the picture to be quite good. As with most monitors, there's all kinds of settings in there that you can change. It has a single button that you use to control all of the different settings, which I find to be quite helpful and simple as opposed to the traditional uh, monitors that have about four or five buttons on the bottom, which can, can sometimes be confusing to navigate through. And another interesting feature is that this monitor is actually really light. Um, when, you, when you pick it up and move it around, it's, it's, it's effortless, which is kind of a nice thing. If you've ever had to deal with a monitor that's really big and bulky and, and heavy, it's actually kind of refreshing to have a monitor that is so thin and so light and easy to reposition and easy to move around. When you take a look on the back, you'll see that you've got a place to attach the power. It also supports VGA and HDMI, uh, but there is no display port connection, so keep that in mind. So because I've only had this monitor for about a month to prepare this review, I've also went online to find some reviews from people that have been using it longer. Here's some of the things that I found. So one thing that people are saying that I find to be quite unusual is they're saying that the monitor came without certain screws being included. Uh, essentially, they're saying that they were missing the screws that they need to attach the monitor stand to the monitor itself. I could definitely understand if a person purchased this monitor and they found that the screws were missing, that would be a big problem. Another thing I'm seeing in the reviews is that some people have reported that they've received a monitor that has dead pixels. So essentially this means uh, little dots on the screen that uh, will not change and are just sitting there continually uh, black or white or just one color and those pixels don't work on the screen. That could definitely be a very frustrating thing. For me, this monitor uh, worked perfectly. I don't have any dead pixels. I don't have any issues with the screen uh, size or resolution or um, the picture that I'm seeing, but some people have reported this, so that's something to watch out for. Um, ideally, uh, a person would not get that. So in conclusion, I think that this is a great monitor for anybody that needs to use it in a business or office or school environment. It's not necessarily great for gaming or for video or picture editing, though a person could definitely use it for those things. Uh, I found it to be quite affordable. I really liked that it came with the HDMI cable, uh, along with the power adapter and the power cable, of course. Uh, having the HDMI cable right there made it really simple. I was able to start using it immediately and I didn't have to go and buy another cable. Uh, I think that in general, it's a high quality product. Samsung is generally a very reputable company that makes great products. I've been using Samsung for years. I have a Samsung laptop, a smartphone, um, a tablet. I've got all kinds of different products from Samsung and they've always been very high quality and I've always got a lot of great use out of them for many years. If I had to say the things that I didn't like about this monitor, I would say that the picture needs a bit of tweaking to look good out of the box and that the stand that it comes with is not very versatile depending on what you need to do with it. 
you want it to go up or down, or if you want it to uh, be tilted, uh, then you're gonna need either a monitor arm or you're gonna need to, to buy a different monitor. This monitor is not going to work for you. But those are my only two complaints. And I think that the positive things that I have to say outweigh that. So I would definitely recommend this monitor if you were looking for uh, something in this price point and if, if you're looking for a quality monitor. If you like this video and found it to be helpful, please comment, leave a like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, please check out my unboxing video in which I show you everything that's included with this monitor. If you're interested in purchasing this monitor, please see my Amazon link below. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Dillman.